Hello. If you've reached this video, then you are probably already used to PTC MathCAD's quick sessions. If not, then you can console the collection on the official YouTube channel, MathCAD a PTC technology, and you can expect more to follow in the near future. Let's get it started with a video on operators used when we are programming in MathCAD. The description is plain. A program operator creates a program or a subprogram with an empty placeholder. You can create a program in a blank region of the worksheet or within another program. After inserting the program operator, you can press Enter to add a new line. Programs can contain programming operators. They can contain other types of operators. They could contain functions, matrices, or even units. And for units, we have here this panel where they are sorted by their domain. In the MathCAD help, we can see the explanations for the programming operators as follows. The local assignment operator that evaluates an expression numerically and assigns its content to a variable or function. Then we have the conditional operators represented by if, else, else if, also if, and we are going to use two of them later in the example, the for loop operator, the while loop operator, then we have operators for exiting loops and programs such as continue, break, return, and lastly the try on error operator and you can also consult the help documentation on how to use them through some examples as well. In our example, we have a selection of material strength options and we will do a pass-fail check. It is demanded for the value of the selected option to be between the value of the preferable material strength and one covering a 2% margin of the same value of desired material strength. We will be using different program operators like if, else, return, and three comparison operators. Now we are just translating the context in math. We have a material strength value of 350 megapascals, and we are using SI, or we could have PSI, pounds of force per square inch, if we want to work with the US system of units, we define the margin to be 2% and we apply it and then we can see the result instantly. All right. And here we have um, our selection of units. We can press edit to see them better. Here we have our selection of values uh, and we want to check if some of them meet the requirement. Now let us start programming it. We define test and we insert from the programming panel a new program structure. We also need to insert an if statement. And here we are going to specify our conditions. Now if ms selection is greater than or equal to the material strength And here we are also going to add, using the logical AND operator, a second condition and say that the MS selection should be less than or equal to the material um, strength where we applied that margin. then it should return that it's safe. We also insert an else statement. And in this one, add a return operator. And the message returned here should be flawed. When we evaluate the program, we'll get, for this case, flawed. 
This corresponds to the value for option 1. Let's see those again. But if we would modify the option, for instance, to option 4, then maybe we could expect for another answer. Let's check it out. Thank you for your time.